It's getting a bit overwhelming and kind of frustrating for me on the CSGO subreddit with the new jump shot glitch accuracy accusations. It seems like the more grounded posts are not getting as much attention as the posts trying to prove the bug existing. So hopefully a video that's more on the defensive side of this topic could be better for everyone. To describe briefly, Fugly made this post on Twitter saying he found a way, with any weapon, to be able to 100% shoot accurately while jumping. Luckily, he did just send an email to Valve and didn't release it publicly. That's probably the best thing he could have done? Thanks, Fugly. This video won't be going over his secret, it's gonna be going over all the other claims. Well, the Cisco subreddit took after to find what he was looking about, and for quite a while, no one had anything definite. Adrian has chimed in to make the situation a little bit more blurry. He posted this video showing him getting three kills in a row, obviously proving it, right? Oh. Right! Well, to many others, this was enough, and they showed their own versions of this, with a bunch of short clips without much statistics to show if it was luck or not. And that's where my problem and grumpiness has really been. Non tinfoil hat as possible, all the comments using evidence to show that it was kinda luck or wasn't really a glitch weren't getting as much attention, which kinda sucks. It makes sense, the people challenging the theory are the more interesting topic, the attention given to both sides hasn't been on an even playing field, so I hope I could balance it out with the video. Okay, so here's Adren hitting all of the shots, and uh, I don't think he discovered a glitch? Like, I looked at the clip and I saw there are differences between the client and server impacts, and thought, hey, that's not good! Whenever you jump, your shot that you shoot on the client is different than on the server. I'll shoot and there's a red block on the body and nothing happened. But then I'll shoot again and the red dot is away and the blue dot is on him and suddenly it hit him. <gasps> so there's two calculations for the shot and they both have the same amount of RNG. So whenever it's just the red dot off of him, it means the actual shot could have been there, meaning he wasn't accurate, he was really just lucky. There are a ton of other clips trying to do the same thing and it keeps showing the impacts being off. And not one person is using that weapon debug print accuracy one command and that's the biggest problem for me. Extraordinary claims take extraordinary evidence and that command would show pretty great evidence and no one's doing it. It's like that thing a while back with the Nvidia setting post with everyone having benchmarks saying it doesn't help and everyone without evidence saying it gave a huge FPS boost and it's like eh, who am I gonna trust? It's not like impossible that one of these videos does show the proper method, but the evidence is really shady or isn't there. So here, let me try to do what Adren did. So I think that what he did is just jump to the left and maybe counter strafe while shifting and scoping and shoot at the peak of the jump. Okay, let's try it. I hit a few shots, but when you look at the shot accuracy, it doesn't show any glitch. A normal shot is over 60 times more accurate. So yeah, it doesn't look like it works. If I just did this wrong and you could do the same thing with the command, that would be cool. Also, Adren didn't even shoot at the peak of the jump, but that doesn't matter, right? Right? There's one clip where it shows five shots in a row with a deagle, but again, there's no print accuracy, and the console is cleared, so there's a chance they used a command to make the shots 100% accurate, regardless of the movement. I'm not saying he did, but again, it's just not strong enough evidence to be shown as a glitch. The other clips seem to be selective bias. They'll do like 40 shots and five of them will hit despite doing the same thing on almost all of them, and people think it's something to do with a glitch. It may be, but unless we see something discounting that, it's probably just luck. Again, extraordinary claims like a huge yes, jump bug glitch takes yeah, extraordinary well, evidence, and it either has to discount the evidence we currently have about counter strafing, or it has to show a really high correlation. The fuck, has this game gotten worse? Well, actually kinda. Jumping accuracy decay has decreased 20% ever since that tapping update, meaning you become more accurate faster than before. And people could be thinking since they're hitting more of these then there's some sort of movement that's going along with it that's doing the difference, when it's probably just that they're more accurate more quickly. But. From what I can tell right now, don't trust Adren's method or the posts right now that are kind of showing the same thing, unless someone can show proper evidence that this still does actually work and I'm just kind of dumb and bad at sports.